Hi everybody, welcome back to another feel good video. Well, I wonder what you think I mean by that. Well, I wanted to refer to this wonderful incident which happened yesterday in the English city of Bath when Labour leader, he would be the aspirant, who would be the aspirant prime minister in his mind, went a canvassing and this is what happened. That's assault. I am not bothering you. I am not bothering him. That man is not allowed in my pub. Get out of my pub. Go on. Get out of my pub. Thank you. They've been on the front line keeping people alive. So I really don't need lectures from you right. about this pandemic. You've, been, you've, you've, you've got one. Go on in. Can we come in? Okay. So there we have Sir Keir winning hearts and minds. Now, worth pointing out that the pub, pub landlord who threw him out of the Raven pub in Bath is a Labour supporter, lifelong Labour supporter. But he was absolutely fed up with the total lack of opposition to Boris Johnson's lockdown strategy from Labour. So he wanted to have a Labour party that robustly stood up for working men and women who wanted them to be able to go back to their place of work, who wanted publicans, restaurants, etc. to open up. That's what he wanted from Labour. But he didn't get that from Labour. Sir Keir was too busy. Sir Keir was too busy doing this, for example. Here he was taking the knee to BLM, that bunch of Marxists. Uh, this is what Sir Keir is interested in. He's not interested in working class people and the fact that they can't open their businesses and that they have to uh, basically stay at home and hide under the stairs. The other thing there in that video that I wanted to point out to you very quickly is that did you notice at the end of it, Sir Keir having clear, I mean, actually several things. One, why was Sir Keir Starmer inside the pub when pubs are actually closed indoors for indoor service? Why was that happening? I don't understand why he was inside the pub. I hope he wasn't breaching COVID regulations. Also, did you see the way that Sir Keir's um, uh, sort of... Uh, bouncer type people around him uh, sort of assaulted in many regards the pub landlord who was only telling Sir Keir to sling his hook. Did you see that? And then finally at the end of it, Sir Keir patronises the landlord outside having been thrown out. He patronises him by saying, well my work, my work, my work works, wife works in Central London Hospital and they're overwhelmed. Really? Which hospital is that Sir Keir? I'm not aware of any London hospital overwhelmed by COVID cases. So unless Sir Keir can provide the evidence with, a, with for that very big claim he's made, then he's lying through his teeth. Now, of course, naturally what's happened in the UK, because we're such a bunch of uh, uh, COVID fanatics here, the pub landlord concern went on uh, Breakfast TV this morning and he was beaten up uh, over the fact that he dared to tell um, Sir Keir that the, the right result would be to open business up and not to go for lockdown. He's being painted as a conspiracy theorist. Uh, and I suspect this gentleman will, will find the full force of the pro-COVID British establishment coming down in his head. And all he's done is speak up for millions of British people and hundreds of thousands of British businesses and certainly thousands of publicans who only want to be open. They can, they want to get on with the rest of their lives. But Boris Johnson, Keir Starmer, the British media, the British establishment, they don't want that. They still want control. And that's why this pub, pub landlord, once he spoke for many of us, he will suffer for speaking up for many of us. And that's the awful reality about Britain in COVID 2021.